The map is finished, sir. Already? Wow! Look at all the money that's there to be made! All our other agendas were getting boring. They said Columbus discovered America? Well, I'm gonna milk it with all this Hispanic representation. Yo, people, welcome back to another video. Hope everyone's been having a good day. So, first things first, I myself am Latino. My bloodline's Venezuelan, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about this. But that's just for anyone who may get triggered at what I'm gonna say. I will also be talking about some characters like Namor, America Chavez, Blue Beetle, and other Hispanic characters later on in the video. But first, I have things that I want to say. So the first thing is the term Latinx. That's just more offensive to us and our culture than anything else. And the funny part is that barely anyone in South America even knows what that is, let alone acknowledges to use the term. It's just a first world agenda. Like, why are random people trying to make up these terms for us that we don't even approve of? Why are they trying to change our language, our culture? I didn't see or sign a petition that was being passed around for Latin people to see if we even agreed with the term. It just got shoved out there and a very small minority of people that just, I don't know, they're sheep or something, actually accepted it. And any celebrity that you see using it, they only use it to please like the 2% of people that actually like it so that they don't get upset. But deep down, even they probably get offended by the term. Unfortunately, ever since that became a buzzword, I've seen the entertainment business change and I think I've spotted it ahead of the curve. I hope I'm wrong, but I think this is only the start. I know my culture will be embarrassed. Me personally, I'm embarrassed if we become the target for Hollywood. They're going to start forcing us into everything for representation and pushing these stupid agendas that we don't even push. It's Hollywood that pushes it so they can cash in and benefit off of our culture with the excuse that they believe in quote-unquote equal representation and all of that manure behaviour that they're on. I definitely believe we deserve more representation in general, but it has to be natural, not like how they've done it with other political agendas. Part of me wants to be in the limelight, wants to be hyped that my coach is getting all the attention. I understand why people fall for the traps and the guilt trips, but I'm just not going to do it because at the end of the day, they're just using all of us. Us Latin people, we always show up, we work hard, we believe that one day we can all be successful after coming from nothing. Seeing other people from our culture win as well by working hard, it's inspiring, it motivates us. We never get anything gifted, we're not in the relevant conversations, people always overlook us. And to be honest, we don't want anything gifted. We're not some self-inflicted bums like the weirdos who use Twitter all day. They have no life and all they do is complain. Honestly, in South America, there's just no such thing as seeing someone as black, white, start creating all these labels and separating everything because that just causes problems, issues, fights. It's just crazy. These first world agendas are just so baffling. Like, we should just look at people for people. Where they come from, it's nice and everything, but it shouldn't be the focal point to the person. It's getting boring seeing Hollywood rinse it and force it all the time. So this brings me to Namor, and it appears that he's gone through a couple of changes in the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie so that us Hispanics can feel represented and giddy while watching the film. Before I say the changes, even though I've kind of hinted at it just then, I actually think this could be an interesting dynamic for the MCU, but I don't know, I personally prefer when things just stay comic accurate. However, if this film can get the whole representation of the culture, exact and they can really flesh it out and make you be invested in that aspect then i can appreciate it i'm still not 100 percent on board but if they can do that as the foundations as the fundamentals and then the character ends up being good fair play and i mean i'll give a review video to that when it comes out but as of right now it just looks like they're just ticking the boxes and making sure there's representation so the first change is his name pronunciation it seems that he now has two name pronunciations it's originally pronounced Namor, but in this teaser clip we've been given, he even says his own name is Namor. My people call me Ahkukumkan. Well, my enemies call me Namor. So on screen, you can see the transcript of the interview with the producer of the film. And he basically says that the reason there's two pronunciations is because the way a Spanish speaker may pronounce the name is different to how an English speaker may pronounce the name. And I quote... We thought that was just interesting. I mean, it's a reality that people face and it felt more genuine than having everybody pronounce it correctly, to be quite honest. I get that. Like, I seriously, I get that. I understand it. I speak both languages. I understand some things can be difficult. However, you mean to tell me now that if someone's called Jake in English, right? 
a Spanish speaker can just call him Hake. Because in Spanish, you don't pronounce J a lot of the times. So what, Jacob is Jacob. So I can call anyone by whatever I want because my pronunciation is different. If that's the rule now, then let me know. I, I, I have no problem trolling people and doing that. This is the kind of thing that I'm talking about with the agenda. Why are they pandering with the pronunciations? Like, if there's a set name, there's a set name. Everyone gets round it. That's the whole point of even learning a language. Like, because the fucking words are said in a specific way. Like, what else? But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the second change. And the second change being that instead of hailing from Atlantis, like in the comic books, he now comes from Talukan, an underwater city inspired by Aztec and Mayan culture. Again, like I mentioned previous, if they really build this up and they really make us care about this place and they really show the culture, I wouldn't mind as much, but I do prefer Atlantis, like it's what's in the comic book. So like I said, I'm just keeping the same energy. I'd rather it be like how it was originally. So overall for Namor, oh, sorry, I'm Hispanic. I can call him Namor. Uh, so basically for Namor, I, it is a gendery. I think it is a gendery, definitely. But if they can pull this off, I will excuse it. And it shows that they're being genuine, which I can appreciate. As well as the fact that they've not been promoting this as the first ever Latin superhero, the first ever Latin mutant, the first ever, you know how they get with the PR. So I'm not going to dunk on it completely. But you know who I will dunk on? America Chavez. And now it's not for the actress. She got the bag. She did her thing. Good luck to her in the future. I know she's quite young. So good luck to her and her career. I'm talking about America Chavez, the character, because all the agenda was America Chavez is going to be the first Latin American superhero. America Chavez is going to be the first Latina. America Chavez, America Chavez, blah, blah, PR garbage so that we feel represented, right? Do you want to know where America Chavez is born? The utopian parallel. Interesting. Um, I, I've definitely, I, I think my cousin's born there. Yeah, 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 there's a place. Yeah, definitely. Nah, don't worry about that. That definitely exists on planet Earth, 100%. Yeah, my cousin, so you drive, yeah, when you're in Venezuela, you drive like 20 minutes left, you turn right, then you turn left again, and then you fuck off to space, because that's where that shit is. To conclude, pure PR, this was forced Hispanic agenda, 100%. Like, with America Chavez, we didn't even get any sort of background information other than... She got upset because she got stung by a bee or some bullshit like that. And then she teleported her parents away. That was it. So America Chavez was earlier this year, right? So that's one. No more. We can technically count him as two. I won't count him yet, but we still have potentially two. I'll give you two more examples within the last year of the Hispanic push. It's very subtle right now, but if you can catch it, I don't know. I'm fearing that it can be very prominent in the future. So the first one. Camila Cabello being Cinderella. This was actually a film. It flopped, don't worry, rightfully so. But this was actually a thing. Point number two. First ever Latino elf in Rings of Power. Who even asked for that? What even is a Latino elf compared to what the elves actually look like in Lord of the Rings? It's actually embarrassing. So to wrap up the video, I'll give you a couple of examples of characters that I think are genuine. And I'll start off with the more controversial one, which is the upcoming Blue Beetle film. I've seen some people complain because the original Blue Beetle is Dan Garrett. And then we have Ted Cord, who's the second Blue Beetle, who is Dan's student. And lastly, the most recent adaptation is Jamie Reyes, which is the version that we'll be getting in the movie. I can see why people are upset that this is the version that will be in the movie. But I feel like the younger generations connect more to Jamie Reyes because of the media like the cartoons. And in terms of the bigger universe, Jamie actually connects to heroes such as Peacemaker, who actually becomes Blue Beetle's mentor. And as we already know, Peacemaker is already in the DCEU, played by John Cena. Jamie Reyes is also a more marketable Blue Beetle in terms of the links he has to the other superheroes. So I feel like they've chosen him for this reason. Another thing is that I appreciate that a lot of the cast is Hispanic for this upcoming film, as well as the directors and the people working behind the scenes. So it does seem very genuine. They're trying to connect with the culture and it's not, hopefully, it's not forced. However, the important thing as well is that this character already has a Hispanic version. They're not race swapping him to be Hispanic for the first time ever, just for the film. And lastly... Funnily enough, the same actor is involved, Sholo Maridueña, who plays Miguel Diaz in Cobra Kai. 
They never rub it in your face that he's Hispanic. They never force the fact that he's Hispanic. The actor himself is Mexican, Ecuadorian and Cuban. And they chose for the character to be Ecuadorian, which is way less marketable than if they had chosen Mexican. So I respect the genuine display from the directors. It shows they actually know more places in South America and in Latin America than just Mexico and Colombia. He just doesn't have any agendas on his character based off of where he's from. And that's how characters should be if they're going to introduce them organically. But yeah, I appreciate you guys that made it this far. This was a pretty long one compared to the recent amounts that I've been doing. Shout out to you if you're one of these people. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll catch you in the next video.